the new Kia Sorento, it's kind of a mid-cycle refresh, I understand. That's right, yeah. We, uh, we like to call it a uh, project enhancement, and we've actually enhanced quite a lot. Uh, if you, basically, we're looking at the front of the vehicle, and you could see the entire front is completely new. So the first thing that I'd like to point out is the uh, LED projector headlights that are now vertical oriented. So kind of similar to some of the other Kia models that we have, some of the other SUVs in our lineup, including Telluride. Uh, and the hood is a lot more upright, more blunt, more square, for more capable SUV kind of orientation. Now, as far as the uh, power plant? Sure, yeah. So we're, we're happy to say we have four power plant options, including a 2.5 GDI with over 190 horsepower standard. You can upgrade to either 2.5 turbo with 311 pound-foot of torque or a 1.6 turbo hybrid and that hybrid can also now extend into a pl plug-in hybrid for 32 all-electric miles of range. Yeah, I was looking at the uh, the cost points. I mean, Kia's EV or electrified vehicles seem to be at lower cost points than the competitors. Yeah, absolutely. And that's part of Kia's value story. You know, we're always offering a lot of vehicle for a really good price, and Sorento's one of them as well, uh, especially with our hybrid and plug-in electric uh, powertrains. Kia's sales have been, it seems like every month, uh, breaking records. Uh, what vehicles are selling, what's big, and how big is the Sorento in that uh, lineup? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it, it's actually great because there's so many of our vehicles are doing well, including our large three-row SUV Telluride, uh, Sportage, which is our um, compact SUV, and uh, Sorento as a vehicle that's positioned in between the two is uh, continuing to do really well for us. Um, sales growth from this year to last year um, improvement. So everybody's talking about EVs, but uh, they're not all buying them. Yeah, that's, I mean, that, so that's the interesting part in the industry now is that we have you know a lot of people looking for the ICEs, doing really well, but we're really committed to the EV. Um, so not only do we have, we started with Nero EV and we expanded to the EV6, full electric vehicle. Now we have the all new three row EV9 SUV. So we're committed to EVs. So actually our market's first full three row uh, EV SUV, right? So you can have that space three row, no problem. Sorento, for example, has always been a three-row in this generation and, uh, and has been offering a three-row for quite a number of years. Uh, we've also launched X-Line on Sorento, this all-new Sorento, uh, and we're coming out with X-Pro, which is even more capable. So quickly give us the trims and the costs and uh, when is the facelifted uh, new one uh, hitting the market? Yeah, so the, 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 I'll answer the uh, last question first. So it should be available um, in a couple of months, the first quarter of next year for the ICE versions and the hybrid and the plug-in hybrid will follow shortly afterwards. Uh, the trim strategy is pretty similar to what we've had all along. You know, we have five really great options. Uh, the first two trims are the 2.5 liter uh, entry-level engine. The top three trims have the turbo. Uh, and then the X-Pro is positioned on top with uh, uh, exclusively with the 2.5 turbo. And then of course the hybrid and the plug-in hybrid models offer mid and top level trims. Okay, as a former uh, owner of a Kia, specifically the Sportage, uh, that did not have an immobilizer or an alarm system or even a spare tire, uh, when you hit on those three things, do all of them come with that now? All of them come with that, absolutely. Even the spare tire. <laughs> no, that, because that was a bit of a change in philosophy, and I, I don't know what kind of spurred it on, or, or do you know? Uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes it, uh, there's, there's lots of engineering uh, requirements, weight requirements, and lots of details, lot, lots of things I've, I've, I've learned. Uh, so it's not quite as simple as, you know, adding or deleting. Uh, it's part of an overall strategy. But, um, you know, for this car, 100% spare tire, 100% um, immobilizer. So what are you looking at now? Because you're always looking into the future. So uh, anything special you can talk about coming up? Uh, right next to the Sorentos, you could see two other uh, future EV concepts coming from Kia, uh, EV3, EV4. So, you know, we're, we're filling in the, the top end of our lineup, but also now the lower, more uh, attainable priced point of the lineup uh, with two new great products coming soon.